So, <laughs> if you've watched the WebStorm video and you've watched the Atom video, um, then what I want to convey is that you do not need, and I don't think I've said this yet, but you do not need three editors. <laughs> Actually, now that I say this, it's ringing a bell. So you only need one editor or IDE, Integrated Development Environment, whatever you want to call it. You need one piece of software to write your code. And so you just need to make a determination, a decision, which one do you want to use. So I just want to make sure you're clear on that. WebStorm, Atom, Sublime, just choose one. You just need one. Uh, if you want, you could use all three, but I recommend just choosing one. All right, so the last one that I want to talk about is uh, Sublime. And, uh, and Sublime uh, is my least favorite of the three, and it's hugely popular, <laughs> and a ton of people love it. So out of all of the three, this is probably the one which uh, is used by the most people. And it, it's, uh, it's my last choice, not my first choice. And it's just a little bit mysterious to me. There's not a lot of GUI involved with it, graphical user interface. And you just mysteriously bring up certain commands, which, you know, I mean, once you figure them out, it's cool. But uh, I like a little bit more GUI environment. Sublime doesn't have that. All right, so to uh, use Sublime, you just need to go to sublimetext.com, and you can click on Download. And uh, there's Sublime Text 2, version 2. And there's also a version 3. So uh, Sublime Text 3 is currently in beta. So you could click there, and you could try the beta version and uh, you know, go all the way to the front, <laughs> the cutting edge. So once you have that, uh, one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is have package management. Actually, before I talk about package management, let's just talk about getting all your folders open. And so to open all your folders, you'll just go File, Open, and then you you know choose Open, and then you go find the directory, and I want the HTML, CSS, and you just click Open. And so it's just gonna open all my folders over there, and so now I could you know look through all this. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to do package management. And to do package management, so, you know, just like in WebStorm, there are plugins, and they call them plugins in WebStorm. And then in Atom, there were packages. They called them packages in Atom. And that's just like additional functionality which we can add to our editor, whether it's a plugin or a package, right? Even Chrome, the browser, has plugins or whatever you call them. But this is additional functionality we could add to a piece of software. And so, uh, you know, we could do that in Sublime too. And in Sublime, they're called packages. And it's a bit mysterious, but you just Google, like I Google searched for, well, now it's going to be everything, but I just searched for Sublime uh, Package Management, right? And it brought me to this, Package Control I.O. I have no idea who Package Control I.O. is <laughs> or how that's connected to Sublime. But if you come here and then you click Installation, and this is what you use for Package Control in Sublime, you, uh, you grab this right here, depending on if you're three or two, right? So get the right one. Crazy code, I don't know what this does. Could be giving somebody access to all of my bank accounts. But you grab all that and you come back to Sublime and you need to uh, go into the terminal inside Sublime. So to get into the terminal, and this is like where Sublime gets misto, right? Uh, you know, the instructions are right here. So control backtick. <laughs> or view so show console menu, right? So I could try view show console, same deal. So I'll show the console, and then I drop that code all in there. I'm not going to run it uh, because I already have it. And so once you have it, right, does it tell you anywhere on here how you access it? Uh, no. What you need to do to figure that out is... Uh, type into Google Sublime Open Package Control, <laughs> right? And so once you've figured out, okay, this is how I open Package Control, which is Command Shift P, right? Come over here to Sublime, Command Shift P. There's Package Control, mysteriously, just out of nowhere, it just pops up in the middle there. All right, that's kind of cool. And then there's commands. All right, well, what do you do with those commands? Well, I want to install a package. Well, notice that process right there, right, for installing a package in Sublime versus the process we saw before in both WebStorm and Atom. So the process in Atom, right, was just sort of like there's that graphical thing. You go into settings and then, oh, I want to look at the packages that are installed or I want to uh, search for new packages. You know, it's pretty, like, straightforward and, to me, more user-friendly. This, there are some hurdles to jump through. And, and before I knew how to do this, it took some learning to figure it out, right? Some digging around. So 
that I don't I don't like Sublime because of that kind of stuff. And it's just like not intuitive. You can't just like explore and discover stuff. You have to sort of read how are other people using it. So if I wanted to install packages, I could choose that. And whoops, well, oh, okay, cool, it came up. And so there's different packages you can install. And uh, I'm gonna just search for like preview, right? Like, or HTML preview, right? Nothing, if I type in that. Or over here, HTML preview, there's a markdown preview, right? So then I can look through these and I can see if any of the thing, any of the packages that have preview in them uh, would work for my code. So um, I could also come back over to this place that does package control and write the home page. I could just search for preview, right? And uh, this is going to give me even more results than showed up in this window uh, right here. So maybe uh, maybe I'd find HTML preview in here. I kind of scanned through this before I started recording this video and I didn't see anything in there. So we are not going to do live preview of, uh, of HTML with Sublime. All right, so that's my uh, that's me dissing Sublime, <laughs> and uh, and th those are my thoughts on Sublime and reasons that I don't really care for it, but a lot of people do, so I feel compelled to include it. And uh, if you want to go for it, God help you, <laughs> God help you. <laughs> all right, uh, I, or you know, have a great time if it's your thing. Fantastic, right? There's all kinds of different people in the world, and maybe for some people this totally works. For me, it does not. That's sublime.